Hey, what's up YouTube? Bloody is Cody here, and in this short video I will demonstrate how to install and properly set up PokeMMO. I've recently been on and off streaming this game for a while. I got a couple of uh, the stream VODs uploaded to YouTube and so on. And I kind of wanted to uh, do a video on how to do this because I've repeatedly had people ask on stream how to set this stuff up because it doesn't always make that much sense or they're not sure where to get some of the files necessary and so on. Um, most YouTubers wouldn't dare set foot on the uh, area of um, ROMs and stuff because of the gray area. They don't want to get sued or anything. But I will show you how to get them and where to get them safely without risk of viruses. But I must, must make it clear that if you do not legally own the cartridge that requ that is required to do this, you are actually breaking the law. Um, that is the, the, the full disclaimer. Uh, if you do not legally own the cartridge for Fire Red, Emerald, or Soul Silver, you are breaking the law. Period. So, let's get started. <clears throat> so, first step is obviously to download the game. PokeMMO. Just Google it. First one on the list. PokeMMO. No bullshit. Just games. Um, and you will notice that it's .eu. Uh, that is because the website is hosted in Europe. Uh, I'm not sure where exactly. But um, the actual game servers are so stable. You can play this game pretty much worldwide and there's no delay on hardly anything sometimes coming out of buildings you'll like have to wait like a split second before you start moving but that's about it but yeah that's to be expected with the type of game it is considering it's emulating so much and has so many instances running at the same time okay so first thing you're going to do is click register now very simple fill out these Check the box, hit register, you'll get an email. Um, all you got to do is do the standard uh, account verification through that email. Very simple. Next, what you'll do is you'll go to downloads, select your operating system, and because <clears throat> the way this game works, it is actually Java based. For the, it, it runs the exact same way Minecraft does. And because of that, it is available on Linux as well. And there's supposed to be a portable version of it, but it's not completely stable just yet, as far as I'm aware. I'm not going to get into that. This is just for the Windows variation of how to install this. So you click on Windows. Step 1, register. Already did that. Step 2, download and install Java. Make sure that you have um, the most recent version of Java installed. For me, with Windows 10, that would be Java 8 version 25 something something. I don't know. But um, just make sure you have the most recent version of Java installed. This is not that big of a deal. It's just You just always want to make sure you have the Java updated. Download the client. Click on the button. Okay, open folder. <clears throat> I already had it installed because I reinstalled it yesterday. And what you're going to do is you're going to run the exe. And because it's already uh, installed properly, it just skipped the process. But basically, like anything else, you'll choose where you wanted to install and all that. <clears throat> I'm going to uncheck that because I don't want to actually launch it just yet. <clears throat> and there's your icon for it. I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> move, remove that. Now, here comes the uh, more complicated parts of it. The, uh, the parts that are um, contained within a gray area of sorts. Okay, so as it states right here underneath it, you, uh, as a disclaimer, you must legally own the ROM that is used. We will not support you with the ROMs or help you uh, if you find or help you find them as they are copyrighted. Um, that is true, but for to help people who really don't know what to do, I'm doing this anyway. But as again, there there it is right there. Um, okay, 
locate compatible ROMs using in-game menu. Um, yeah, you gotta download and put the ROMs in the folder first. Um, current ROM required is Fire Red, English, French, uh, I can't remember what that is. I think it's German or Italian, and it's the same with the others. Okay, so, the only website that I will, um, recommend you use is Emu Paradise, as right now it is the only emulator ROM website that is still up and going that I have not gotten a single virus from. Um, there are tons of stuff on here. Play stuff at your, at your leisure, but remember if you don't legally own the cartridge, you're breaking the law. <clears throat> um, so, how do you make heads or tails of this? Okay, so you're, you're looking for a Pokemon game, so what you're going to do is oh, no 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 you're going to click on p and then you scroll down until you found uh pokemon uh emerald let's see you know what i'm just going to search for it oh my god i'm spelling horribly today pokemon Emerald. <clears throat> okay, um, I don't know what this whole trash man thing is, so I'm not gonna bother with that. What the hell? Hmm. Um, I will splice the video here. I need to test this to make sure it is actually safe because I don't remember this being on here and I'm wondering why the hell there's not others on here. So, be right back. Okay, what's up guys? I'm back and I've done a little research on it. Turns out that Emu Paradise actually had a little issue where a bunch of their stuff got deleted a while back. So, that's probably why there's not um a working one on there i tested it out that uh, one that i looked at a minute ago did not work on visual boy advance so do not try to use it um so i did find this one uh this version right here does work i have downloaded it and i have played it a good 20 minutes uh so click on this after going to uh complete roms here is the link just google complete roms.com can't be that hard to find and um, type in Pokemon in the search and you're good so you're gonna download it um, hit open folder move that over to the side um, let's see here it is okay so here is the games core directory where I installed it what you're gonna do is you're going to move it over into it. I already have it, so I'm not going to worry about actually doing that. Next thing is to find a copy of Pokemon Fire Red. It could be Leaf Green, but I prefer using Fire Red. So, apparently, Fire Red's top of the list, so yet again, just click on it. Hit download. Open folder. Okay, um, and again, just copy it over. I'm not going to uh, do it. Um, if you don't know what uh, what this is, this is 7-Zip. Uh, if you don't uh, know what that is, like download WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, any of that stuff, it's a archiving tool. Um, most of you that's interested in playing this game would probably know what 7-Zip or WinZip is, so I hope so. <laughs> Um, next up is Soul Silver. So, looking down, Silver version. I do not see it. 
Okay, so back to the drawing board. Gonna have to go just back to Google. Pokemon Soul Silver ROM. Can be Heart Gold, but I prefer Soul Silver. Um, okay, so it looks like Emu Paradise does have one. Let's check to see if it actually is a working one. It's E, so it's the European version, which doesn't really matter because all it does, all it uses the ROMs for is to generate the sprites and like the graphics and stuff like that. Um, so, I'm gonna download this. <laughs> Waiting for it to catch up. <clears throat> you do not need any specific version um, for the game as the uh, the server stuff reads all of its own things. All this, all these are for is like I said before, textures, graphics, all that kind of thing. Okay, waiting for it to finish. Okay, open folder. And yet again, just drag it over. And, oh. Cancel. Delete. Oh, derp, 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 derp. Now delete it. Okay. So now, <clears throat> um, I'm actually going to delete all of mine and throw those others in there real quick just to show that the ones that I've shown you does in fact work okay so now go back to the core directory and start the game up now um, most likely you're gonna have the game prompt you to update just let just say yes it's just an update as yeah, right here, seven point or uh, number seven thousand ninety one, and I updated it yesterday. So they are on the ball with uh, getting it updated. They're constantly trying to improve it. Um, <clears throat> not all game features are available. Like for the Hoenn region, Pokemon contests are not a thing. Uh, that it is replaced by something else. Okay, as you can see, um, it's loaded BPREV 1.1 and BPEE version 1.0. So I'm going to go back over here. 1.0 and 1.1. I don't know why they have such weird names, but whatever. And then it is detecting Soul Silver right there. So that is functioning just correctly. Okay, next up is turning the sound off. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, next up, mod management. Now, these are not mandatory, but I use these myself just because they make the game look better. Um, okay. So, um, all you got to do is go to the PokeMMO website and you can just like search the forums and stuff for mods. Um, I'm just going to real quick order these the way I want them ordered. Dang it. I got a black spot on my screen and it's like a pain in the butt to... Oh, okay. That's the, the base game resources. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Uh, okay, yeah, that's correct. Um, you must be restarted. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, there we go. Now settings, um, display settings, it's their default. I always go with the dark theme because it's just easier on the eyes. <clears throat> um, okay. Um, next up, you got the sound. It goes all the way up to 100. Controls. Everything's really easy to use. There is uh, mostly nearly full controller support. There's a couple things you can't do quite right with a controller, but most of the uh, the game can be played perfectly fine with just a controller. As you can see, I have everything mapped out to what I want it to be. Um, gameplay, increase the text speed, uh, chat bubble, all that stuff. Um, Tons of languages are supported, as you can see. Chat, um, just just stuff. Um, utilities, I'm not sure what any of this stuff is, so you probably don't really need to worry about it. Um, and so, time to log in with the uh, account that I quote unquote created earlier, actually like a year or so ago. Oh, what the hell? There we go. <clears throat> and you'll be prompted to create a new character. Um, you can only have, I think, three characters per account. And unfortunately, this game does not support character deletion. If you create an a character, if you create a character, you have to keep it. Um, if you use all three spots and you want a fourth one, you have to create an all-new account, unfortunately. Um, and from what I've seen on the forums, there's no plans to rectify this. Lovely. Um, but here you go. Everything's working just fine. Um, I know this because without fi a working copy of Fire Red, the game will not even load. And as I'm in Hoenn right now, if I didn't have a working copy of Emerald, um, the game would not look like it wouldn't work right now because I'm actually in Hoenn and as you can see I have Pikachu following me around <clears throat> and uh, let's go up here nope not up there uh, where's my controller <clears throat> go right over here into a uh, bit of tall grass As you can see, I have animated sprites. That's from some of the little mods that I have installed. Um, it has the this style UI because of the Soul Silver version, I think. And you, um, uh, whatever. I'm I'm gonna st I'm gonna stop rambling now before I make myself look like an idiot. Um, as you can see, the game is working just fine um so i hope this is a huge help to anyone i will put a link to all of the different sites where the stuff is located in the description in case um anyone has trouble finding them um so hope you enjoyed hope this was a great help see you later peace out